Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I'm going to show you how I reduce the jams on the Prusa Multi-Material Upgrade. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So a lot of you know about the Prusa i3 Mark II S, which is an absolutely brilliant printer. You also probably know about the multi-material. And for those of you who do have the multi-material upgrade, you might come across a few jams sometimes, sometimes a bit more than you possibly would want. Now, unfortunately, I suffered those filament jams as well. So I had to go online and scour the forums and see who else was having the issues and see if anyone had found a solution to them. Then I came across an article on the Prusa forum and the article obviously was about people complaining about jams and there was a guy who was explaining about the Bowden setup within the E3D V6 nozzle. Now this guy was explaining how the Bowden tube should be set up in terms of it should have a chamfer and a concave on the inside and everything. And lots of people were saying that their Bowden tube is just normal. So I decided to experiment a bit and try. However, before I show you exactly what I did, I need to specify a disclaimer. First being, if you attempt this, you're doing this at your own risk. Secondly, just because it worked for me, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Thirdly, this might not be a Prusa issue, but it did help me. So I thought to myself, I'm going to share it with you guys. So all you need to do is simply take out the Bowden tube that comes with the E3D V6 on the multi-material upgrade. And this is it. As you can see, it's just a normal piece of Bowden tube. However, when you look at the end that sticks out of the E3D, it has a concave inlet, which means it's not simply just cut. It's also reamed in order to have a concave inlet. And I assume that's basically to make the filament slide in much easier. However, on the other side, it's simply just cut flat as you normally would see a PTFE tube cut. Now, the guy who posted this kind of solution stated that on the end where the PTFE tube goes towards the nozzle, it should also be concave. But not only that, it should also be chamfered on the outside. So I got me a small piece of tool in order to fix that. And that is this reamer right here. However, before trying this out, there is very one simple thing to do just in case you mess it up. And that is, since this piece of PTFE tube is a specific length, it's best to grab another piece of PTFE tube and cut it exactly, exactly the same length. That way, if you mess up, you simply have another piece of PTFE available. So we're going to grab the original PTFE tube and we're going to take the side that should go in towards the nozzle end. And the first thing we're going to do is insert the reamer and slowly turn until it starts eating away at the PTFE inside. Don't put too much force, just let it glide in and just turn. Can do it just a few more times. Make sure it's cleaned. Now the next thing you need to do is grab yourself a pencil sharpener. It doesn't have to be as complicated as this. Please remember this belongs to a seven-year-old. We're going to insert it inside and simply very gently, we're just going to turn it very gently. We don't want to tear it apart. We just want that little bit of chamfered edge. So I now have the chamfered edge, but I still have a bit of a lip. So I'm going to grab the reamer and simply do a few more turns again. As you can see, this is the part that was on the end of the hot end, which comes out of the hot end, which feeds the filament in. And this side is the one we did now. As you can see, it's a bit chamfered on the outside and it's concave on the inside. Once you've done that, simply grab the end which we just modified and slide it in head first towards the nozzle. And that should be it. This small modification has pretty much made my journey with the multi-material upgrade 
almost flawless since I've done it. I have yet to come across a gem. The only issue I've had after that was one of the grub screws of the extruder coming undone. So I had to go through them all again and put some Loctite on just to make sure that they don't, uh, well, undo themselves. But as I said, if you think of doing this modification, please, please make sure you have some spare PTFE tube and practice on those and make sure you cut them the exact length that the original came in because if not, you will need to buy a replacement from Prusa. As I said, just because this worked for me, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you. However, I know that it helped a lot of people, which is why I'm doing this video because if you guys are having the same issues as I had, this should solve all your problems. But I really do hope that this helps you guys out as it did for me. In the meantime, I will leave links in the video description to the forum page where I saw how this issue was solved. And I will also leave link to where you can get one of these awesome tools right here, which I'm gonna cover before I stab myself in the eye or something. That is it for me, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you to my absolutely awesome patrons for their generous support. You guys absolutely rock. In the meantime, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys.